Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Pokemon TCG Greninja V Union Special Collection Box. Now this is one of three V Union Special Collection Boxes released. These boxes released back in October of 2021. This is the final one that I needed to upload to my channel. I have opened up the Mewtwo as well as the Zashian V Union Boxes in the past so this box i did purchase from the pokemon center online for 19 dollars 99 inside the box i can flip it over you get four pokemon booster packs an oversize as well as the four individual v union promo cards a professor burnett promo card and then an online tcg code card i'll get this opened up and i would say Mewtwo was my favorite of the three Pokemon. I do like water type starters generally. And Greninja, over the history of the TCG, has been a competitive card. A card like Greninja Break, for example. These V Union cards, the way they work is you have to get all four individual cards into the discard pile before you can move it to your bench. So I'll undo everything here show everything on the inside and then get to opening the booster packs i actually did purchase two of this box i'm going to keep one sealed just for a short time i do have a hard time keeping things sealed in my collection just because there's always a chance that you're going to get a very valuable card in one of the packs so let's take a look at the oversized card first just so you can see it a little bit better two abilities actually three abilities on this card most damage that it does, Waterfall Bind does 180 damage. Now, so far, at least as of recording this video, there's not any main expansions that have the V Union cards as normal cards. And of course, Brilliant Stars released in February will include V Star cards instead of V Union cards. So there's a look at it, similar to Legend cards of years past in the Heart Gold Soul Silver series of sets. The four booster packs on the inside, all Sword and Shield series sets. Oldest being Sword and Shield base set, then Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, and Evolving Skies. A couple of good sets there. I particularly like Evolving Skies and Vivid Voltage. Let's see if I get all these the right way. Nope, doesn't look like it. Of course, all these cards exactly the same as what I just showed on that oversized card. A good way to get them to the discard pile would be that Professor Burnett that's included in this box. So here is the Professor Burnett. It is a supporter card, so it is, in my opinion, a big waste of a turn. There's lots of ways that you can discard cards. However, this one is a little bit better in that you can search your deck for up to two cards and discard them. Definitely very useful if you're going to play V Union cards. All right, let's get to the booster pack opening. I hope everyone watching this video is having a, a very good day. Hopefully this video, if you're not having it the best of day, will cheer you up a little bit. Of course, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Good start to the opening. If you saw that on camera, white colored code card. I can give this code card away. Normally, I do keep these for myself to help build decks on the online TCG. Four and then two for the card trick. Hopefully, I'm moving a VMAX Rainbow Rare to the back or maybe a Secret Rare Pokemon. First card in the first pack starts with Scorbunny, Galarian Meowth, Krogunk, Chincho, Minchino, Water Type Energy, Rare Candy, a great way to skip over that Stage 1 evolution. Hitmonlee, Bead, Reverse Solo of a Bolton. Is this a rare? Yes, it is. Good start to the opening. Final card would be an Indeedy V. So a great start to the opening going Rare Reverse Solo into an Ultra Rare. Of course, value-wise, regular V card is not worth very much, unfortunately, unless it is a very competitive card, like a Crobat V still isn't worth very much. I'm going back to days like shaman ex or luxray gl level x or a card like a more recent one 
would be Tapu Lele GX. I'm gonna open up Chilling Rain next with Galarian Moltres on the cover artwork design. This card available as a V alternate art. Very, very cool looking. Have been able to pull it from a pack in the past. That's where the value is with some of these newer Sword and Shield series sets. Not a lot of top end value, but some of the more valuable cards in the pack would be the alternate arts. Seal starts this one, second pack of four, cast form, sunny form, a regular cast form, Lediba, Golit, fighting type energy, Melanie, a very good supporter card for water type energy. Attach a water energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V. If you do, draw three cards. Similar in a slight sense to Welder for fire type energy. Whirlipede, Cybold, Reverse Hall of a Justified Gloves, an uncommon. Final card would be another Pokemon V, this time a Blissey. Do you like the looks of this card? Well, it's not always about value when you're opening up Pokemon cards. I am a collector at heart and just pulling as many ultra rares and secret rares as possible. I do like to do, especially cards that look cool like this Blissey V. There's always potential in colorless Pokemon that you can attach whatever type of energy you want to them. Two for two so far with Pokemon V. Let's see if my luck continues in Evolving Skies, a set that has many EV evolutions in them. I talked about this in the last V Union box that I opened up, but actually I have a Sylveon V alternate art on my nightstand in the bedroom just to remind me of a good time in my life. Carl actually opened that pack up when she was pregnant with our daughter Mia. Of course, Sylveon. Carla's favorite Eevee evolution. Swablu starts this one. C Dot. Wubat. Eevee with Rayquaza in the background. Would love to pull out a Rayquaza. Timpole. Fire type energy. Herdier. Scroll of the Fang Dragon. Floet. Reverse Hall of a Hypno. This one is just an uncommon. And the final card. Can I go three for three? Nope. Two for three in an Altaria. Hoping to save the best pack until the end. But in a box like this, $29.99, you do get four of those promo cards. That's the same thing with Celebrations and the Pikachu V Union. That's why that box was easier to find overall because it was priced a little bit more than other boxes with that number of packs on the inside just because you get four promo cards instead of one. I know the price has come down for that Pikachu V Union. So several sales where you could get the box for 20 or 25 dollars which was very nice all right final pack vivid voltage i do like this set quite well still on the search to pull a pikachu v max rainbow rare from a pack was lucky enough to pull out the pikachu v full art recently from one of my openings disappointed to find out it was only 20 dollars after i had bought that same card from my brother for about 50 dollars Picky Pack starts the final pack in this V Union Special Collection opening. Poochiana, Rockruff, Blitzel, Skiddo, Fighting Type Energy, Go Goat, Carolise, Stone Fighting Energy, Reverse Solo of a Dialga. I like this card quite well. Another card like Blissey V that the artwork just pops on it. Final card, hoping for something good, does look like a Dark Edge, it would be an Aegislash V. Now this card is actually seen in some competitive decks out there, especially with a deck like Zushin V. Because of its Sonic Edge, it did 130 damage for 3 energy, which isn't great, but the text on the attack is what makes it. This attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it could cut through Pokemon like Zamazenta V, for example, if this is a VMAX, but Decidueye, anything that would stop a Pokemon from attacking, Aegislash would fight right through it. So I can summarize my pulls now. Quantity-wise, I did very good from only four packs. From those four packs, I was able to pull out five good cards. A couple of rare reverse solos. I really like this Dialga. Bolton. So those would be the two rare reverse hollows. And then if you can believe it, three Pokemon V out of four packs. Indeedy, Aegislash, which is probably the best of the three, Aegislash, 
and then a Blissey V. So that will conclude this video. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure you check out all the links in the description of this video for ways to help my channel, including becoming a patron of mine on Patreon or purchasing my book, Pokemon Cards, The Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to know when I post new videos. Of course, turn on all notifications so you know exactly when I post new videos to YouTube. And the easiest thing to do, hit that like button to let me know that you did indeed like this video. So thank you everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.